Hi friends, it's Tamsin from Babbling Books and today I am finally going to be rearranging my bookshelves. I have a really good audiobook and I am going to attempt to rearrange my bookshelves in one go. Last time I did this, it took me four weeks. I hope you enjoy my video of rearranging my bookshelves. Let me know how you rearrange yours or how often you do. I know some of you rearrange them quite regularly, but I am a sucker for keeping one system and sticking to it. So it's two weeks later. I tried, I tried really hard to figure out how I was going to arrange my bookshelves, but I didn't start with a clear plan of what I was going to do. And look, we all knew this was going to happen. I didn't manage to finish them, but I'm determined. I'm going to try again. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this section of the video will end with a bookshelf tour. We shall see. So it's another week later and I attempted to arrange all of my books in alphabetical order. After two shelves that you can perhaps see behind me, I realized that I really hated it. So I'm going to try again, third time's the charm, and hopefully this time I'll actually come up with a system of arrangement that I actually like. So let's give it a go. So I've decided that the solution to my problem is to turn the fireplace into my Harry Potter tribute shelf. Okay. So last week's plans got a little bit derailed by this little muffin, whose name is Leela Bard. Say hello, Leela. Anyway, this is my final push and I'm really, really going to do it this time. I'm going to finish my bookshelves. It's finally finished. It has taken me something ridiculous, like four or five weeks to get this sorted, but I'm really happy with how my shelves are looking. And I hope that you've enjoyed the somewhat erratic way in which I arranged them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you on a bit of a tour around all of my shelves. So when you come into the room, I have my collection of bookish bags. And on this shelf on the right hand side here, we have a lot of my boyfriend's books and coming down here on these two shelves I have some of my TBR books. Um, most of these have been on my TBR shelf for quite a long time so hopefully I'll read them soon. And then I have of course my TBR cart which I love. This is an Ikea cart and I've made a video tutorial of how I styled it if you're interested in watching that. These are all TBR books and hopefully I will get to them very soon. Over on this large bookshelf I have all of my fiction books organized by color but let's start up the top here where I have a lot of my vintage things, some of these books, like these penguins. I've actually read a lot of these and I plan to read any that I haven't read. Some of them, like these books over here, are actually vintage textbooks and I will definitely not be reading about trigonometry in French. Now here we have my white, my orange, blue and purple, and black and gray books, plus some coffee table books. 
and my collection of magazines. I also have a cat who has stolen something from my shelves. On this side, I have my graphic novels and children's books. Some more black books, greens and blues, up into reds, and of course yellows up the top. Now all of these books are ones which I've actually read, and I like to separate out my red and TBR books. Over on this side of the room, we have a fireplace, which is kind of cool. Above the fireplace, I have my Harry Potter shrine, as I think we can call it, which has a lot of my Harry Potter merchandise and my two sets of Harry Potter books. And up the top of the bookshelf, we have my penguin collection. So on this side, we have penguin modern classics, and my orange popular penguins, of which I have read all of these. My little black classics, um, general penguin classics, and my special green copy of The Secret History by Donna Tartt. My bookshelves, and this is my little reading room. I'm so happy with the way that it's turned out. I can't wait to settle in and catch up on my reading in this beautiful little space. <laughs> 